Shut up, Thunder. Hi, welcome to Two Ordinary Nerds, also known as uh, the Weather Channel. How you doing today, Daniel? I'm doing great. It's stormy outside. It's, you know, it's kind of cold. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice spring weather. You know, here in Kansas, we have what is known as spring for people that live in the desert. Fuck you. You don't understand what we're talking about. So, oh, also, if you live in Serbia, fuck you. It's cold there. So, what are you drinking today? What are we drinking today? Today, we're drinking on Noble Prize. It's from our world famous Boulevard Brewery here in Kansas City. Because we like to promote the, we, our local beers, and they always have good shit. And it's a Imperial Pilsner. So I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's not horrible. It's not. It's not horrible. Like it. It's not it horrible. A, uh, it's really. It's a really good beer. It's a medium dark beer. It's like a dark ale. Like a. It doesn't taste like an English ale. It's not like a. You know how. I guess good New flavor. Ca- yeah, it, it does. It's not as harsh as but it's like a, Smittix. Mm-hmm. It's but it's lighter. Not a, it's not a heavy beer either. No. Pretty good. I like it. Like I, I could like have a couple of these. I would say on a spring day. I don't know about summer. Summer might be a little bad. But a spring day, like a day for like today or is fall. perfect. Yeah. This is probably a good fall beer. But yeah, this is part of Boulevard's six or uh, their uh, smokestack series. It's a special series of beers that they have that they sell at a higher cost to us consumers until they give us free beer on this podcast. One day. One day. <laughs> www. GoFundMe. I think just because we, just to get forward to you know try to get us some free beer, I'm gonna say next week we're gonna have another Boulevard beer. I agree. Next week we are gonna have another Boulevard beer. So, and I probably, a little more tropical. Yeah, we have two podcasts that are gonna be coming out late, uh, earlier than this one because I was an idiot and forgot to edit them. So that's for you fans out there, all 19 of you. So what do you want to talk about? Well. Today, other than the thunder, I was thinking we could talk about country music. All right. So this week, we're just going to talk about the rest of the season, Walking Dead. Next season, um, we're going to probably just stick with the beginning, middle, and end. Well, we'll probably talk about four episodes next time. We'll probably... Well, yeah, we can say like the well, beginning. The, the, we're gonna uh, the first episode. Then we're gonna talk about like more in the middle, mid, like mid season finale, mid season finale, the beginning of the mid mid season, and then the finale. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna go through every episode because it just feels like it consumes a lot of our walk. It feels like it's a Walking Dead podcast. Yeah, and that that's is. not what it is. Although I would definitely have that podcast. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would uh, to get on your knees. And beg for your life, cause you're about to get Lucille. I thought it was gonna be swing, 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 better, better, swing, but it's a miss. That works. All right. So, what? Before you start, I got. I want to, you're the expert in Walking Dead. And well, I'm not an expert, but I do try. I, uh, so people who watch Walking Dead, they know that there's, and watch the finale, know that the, uh, Rick, well, spoiler, but Rick gets betrayed by the uh, garbage people. We call them, they're like garbage pail kids. I was going to call them, what's the guy from Sesame Street? Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Okay. I like to I like to call them you know the Ask of the Grouch clan. That actually is really nice. I like that. So, but my thing is they're they're not in the comics. Mm-mm. So I was I want you to do more or less before we jump into the episode strong. It's what's your opinion about Oscar the the Grouch? A, you know fan base, you know, and did you saw it coming? Did it did it bother you that that happened? Did it just because you read the comics and the show? Which one do you think portrayed that moment better? Were you shocked when it happened? You well, were like, holy shit, ha- what is going to happen now? That part doesn't happen in the comics. They don't have any of the Garbage Pail Kids. And I think the reason why they put that in there, spoiler for the comics, they have, there's a group called the Whisperers that come, that come out. And yeah, they're, that's they're the- very awkward and weird like the Garbage Pail people. Well, most of the Garbage Pail people, or Oscar the Grouch Clan... They they got killed by Rick and all Rick and Morty and all their friends, so 
I think, because you see at the end of the episode, Rick's new love interest and her sidekick left. They escaped before they could get killed. The two leaders of the Gar- or the Austin mm-hmm. and Grouch clan. I think they're going to become the. Whispers? I think they're going to become the whispers because her right hand guy, his name is Beta, and he looks just like him. Like his clothes, everything looks just like his trench coat because he wears a trench coat and jeans, not jeans, but like pants, like that guy's wearing. Uh-huh. And then she is completely awkward and weird, like that. Lady. But did, did did you like? The twist? The twist? Were you? Do you like it or, or slash? Do you expect it? I always like it when they change it up from the comic because it, it, unlike a movie where you go in hope, like The Hobbit, you go in hoping it's like the book. Mm-hmm. With the comic book and and it being a TV show, I like it when they have different twists because they have so much more continuity in a show that they could add more in there. And I, I think it was it added more in to there because I mean, as a suspense factor, you're like. I, deep down inside, I knew this. He, Carl's not about to get his head bashed in, and I knew based off the comics that when that that scene was when Shiva was going to come out and you know attack. But I liked the twist. I didn't expect them to turn on Rick and the gang. I thought they were something. I told a friend of mine that was watching it with me. I told. Her that I don't think that I think that they're sketchy. I I, I don't think that they I, I, something's not right with them. Mm-hmm. I feel that in it turned out right. They had a better deal. My question is and complaint is how the hell did Negan find these people? If Rick and them just found them randomly and no one knew about them until this time, did they just so happen to stumble? Upon I think them? they went and the leaders went to talk to Negan and said, "This is what they are. This is what happens." Mm. Because they already got the guns to what they wanted, but no one knows where the sanctuary is except for Jesus, Daryl. Some, oh, yeah, they, but they, I just think they they made they just waited or did something. <laughs> but now that you said that, I uh, let's go jump into the episode. What do you thought about the finale? As the comic book fan, I got what I wanted. I mean, it is so good. You saw the well, I I've and I've been saying this all week. It was better than the comic because in the comic we don't have Morgan and we don't have Carol anymore. They've died, so having them. But you have other characters; they're still alive. Not as cool as them. No one else is in there. Everyone in the comic, I mean, Glenn, Abraham, all these people have died. So, realistically, you have everyone that's in the comic there right now. They just added Carol and Morgan, which is really freaking cool because mm-hmm. they also they're both. I mean, you got Carol's not like the comics. Carol in the comic was. Exactly. Never, never went badass. Yeah, that's why it's awesome to have a different. You know, I I feel like those characters in the show I relate to them more than the other characters. But yeah, I really like the whole Shiva attack, especially because Negan's like, it's like, I got a goddamn tiger. God damn it! And then he, you know, he's shooting at people and doing whatever he's doing. And I love the ending when he drives off and he flips them off because he's that just, ending bothered me. Why? Because they they shot that truck like a thousand times, like a hundred bullets. Yeah. And not a single one hit it. Like, they, they can hit a walker mile and a half away. No problem what the fuck ever. Headshots mm-hmm. every fucking walker. Nobody. But the first fucking semi truck going from zero to 50 and everybody and their fucking mother's misses. Not yeah. a single scratch or anything that he's able to pull his hand off and finger it. The other thing bothered me of the episode, the other thing that I noticed that bothered me, nobody fucking reloads in this show. No. Nobody fucking reloads. No one reloads in anything except for John Wick. Yeah, but I mean, it, it bothers me. Like, it was, like, there were some points that was just non-stop shooting, and I was like, oh, no, they, they need to, they need to reload. Yeah. They need to reload. And I mean, I know it's a small complaint. Daryl did that. Well, he didn't reload, but he picked up new weapons. Yeah, but I mean, that's, yeah, but I mean... I wish they reload a little. Like I mean, it's once or twice because you know it. It gets kind of annoying when you see Rick with his revolver, just yeah, shooting twenty bullets, and never had to spend two minutes. You know, putting. Yeah. That, that's the thing. But overall, I, I enjoyed it. They do it. try to make it more realistic, and if they're gonna do that versus making it a comic book show, they should show reloading. I definitely agree with that. But I mean, that's my. That was my thing. I enjoyed the show. I was shocked when the when the when the 
when the Oscar the Grouch clan? When Oscar the Trans clan betrayed them. And I was wondering, maybe maybe they will do something weird? Maybe instead of bashing... Uh, I, was th I was thinking before he bashes, I was thinking maybe they're going to make a difference. Rick is going to stop it with his hand. Oh, then lose his it. arm. Lose his arm, with stop the bat with his hand, lose we his arm. We did get shot. Hmm? He did. he did get shot, but then and then something else I was now remembering. So Michonne gets like his her head, her you know her face beaten up, but she's the one in the in the, uh, you know in the hospital like just laying. <laughs> yeah, and well he and got, Ray got he got well, a, he got shot. He got a through and through through the hips. But so still, I don't think he it's still a sh like if you get it shot, was like right there on the edge. So but he started running. Yeah. he was uh, he should have been like also in the next uh, in the next bed together. Maybe call taking care of both of them. And How the hell is he still fighting too? I mean, it must have been her drilling him, but he did get fucking shot. Like I just think about that now. Like he was shot, and, and then he, he started running. He got up and down, he killed. <laughs> he, got, he got shot. He got pushed over. And the then fucking he was leg. giving a speech after he got shot. <laughs> what the fuck, Rick? So, Rick is Wolverine. <laughs> So that was my one of my also like I was thinking should I thought it would have they missed the opportunity of having Carl taking care of both of them. Dude, okay, first off, let's do a cliff note here and say that Carl is a bad motherfucker, dude. I so hope that kid doesn't quit Walking Dead because of college, because he was just like Rick was sitting there like, oh shit, these people are traitors, and, and, he just and then all of a sudden <laughs> Sasha comes out and he's dead. He's like, oh no, fuck you. He's like, double tap, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude, he did some John Wick shit, and anybody he fucking. Would. Decapped one dude, <laughs> then shot the other guy in the head. I was like, "Oh fuck!" A fucking Rick was the only one to take forever yeah. to. Although he was also being pointed by the leader. I do like how they show the difference, you know, with Enid and Carl. How you know because they're younger, she's like, "Can you live with the killing?" Or kind of like Wolverine, you know, like how do you live with the killing? It doesn't matter if it's bad or good. You you have to live with it. You, I mean, you remember all of them. And Carl says something like that. But yeah, I, I do. I do like that progression of Carl from a kid to yeah. you know, as an adult. It's but yeah, he's he he that progression is good, and I think it's a natural progression, and I think it helps with also because he also is getting you know he's it's not like an adult playing a kid. He was a kid playing a kid, yeah. a kid playing a teen, a teenager playing a teenager, an eighteen year old playing like a uh, eighteen year old kid. So I thought it was I thought I thought he was great. He did a really good job. It's just, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just, I hope he doesn't quit, because he, he does a really good job, and I like, <laughs> I like, <laughs> Negan's like, I'm gonna hit him with one swing, Rick, because I really like your kid, he's pretty awesome. And I, I, I did like in this episode that they they get a, give, gave a nod to the fans and gave Abe one last one-liner, where he's like, you know, no, yeah. I don't like the sand because it's like dragging your balls through glass or something mm. like that. And I was like, yes, he's got one more. I did not like that scene. I didn't like this. It scene. didn't fit right then. I mean, I get why she was remembering it, but it should have just been in the beginning. Like right, like when Abraham died. Yeah, it would have been better if it would have been remembered then. Yeah, I. I uh, do you think that going with Abraham and what's her name, Sasha? Sasha. Do you think Dwight? No, it's not Dwight. What's the. What's uh, the name? Eugene? Would, yeah, Eugene. Well, wow, my head, I don't know where it is. Do you think Eugene knew that Sasha was going to do that and the, you know, plan all that? No, I don't think he expected that. And Dwight didn't know either. That's He was the one who left that little totem for Daryl that Daryl found afterwards, that chess piece. And it said, I didn't know. Because Dwight is. He's trying to convey to Daryl, like, dude. I am not fucking with you. I am trying to be on your side here. Yeah. Which, for comic book fans, he is the turning point of the war. I mean, if it's not for him, I mean, they, they would... They, you'll see later, but he, he they would well, lose. They, they may change it. They might change it, which they is... Might, I think they might change it because, because uh, you know, Eugene is getting a, a little bit more than I think that he did in the comics. Because in the comics, he doesn't he just build bullets? No. He has... He has I mean, he has a lot of parts in there. But he, I think Eugene will be the one that more makes now. the betrayal, that sets the the point out. Well, no, Eugene or Dwight is doing Dwight's part. I mean, that mm -hmm. whole part where he's in, he's yeah. not in the cell in the comic, but they have him in a dark room and his arms are tied. And he's in a chair, but in the comic they beat the shit out of him. I mean, but they, he because he doesn't he come out of the with the in the kingdom kingdom. Mm -mm. No, he walk out of the kingdom. And he's like I'm the one. 
No, he, he goes to Alexandria. Huh. But yeah, I, I think it's... It'd be interesting to see who lives and who dies throughout the war. I, I definitely think... Somebody... I, oh, that'll be interesting. Okay, at the end of this episode, what we'll do we is we'll do like a like a March Madness bracket, and we'll see who, who our contestants are for living. I mean, obviously the main characters will probably live, but... One complaint that I was going to bring up while you're, uh, when you were talking is... I was talking about this with my girlfriend is, and I understand with as many characters that they have, and there's specific actors that have to get more screen time because of being paid, but there's a lot of, like, Daryl didn't really, he had a full episode, but he didn't really talk that much. Daryl wasn't as much Daryl as usual. Could it be because of his, he has the TV show riding the bike, so he didn't have time to be, to be able to... No, I think, I mean, he was in the show plenty, he just didn't talk a lot, and I think a lot of the reason why is because he was just fucked up from watching his friends get killed and living with the fact that he basically got Glenn killed. I mean, Negan killed, I mean, Daryl didn't make Negan kill Glenn, but because of his actions directly related well, to... Well, he had made him, but because of his fault, yeah. Glenn died. But and I mean, it's... They didn't... Also, I mean, if you think about it, like, Carl didn't really have much of this season to do. Enid had some, but not really a lot, and a lot of the main characters didn't really have... Carol had some... I just felt like... If... I, I, I do agree that... Uh, but I do agree with you, it's because the you know, uh, Carol was just fucked up. He's like, I need to leave. And so that the, they try to portray Carol's, like, loneliness and yeah. all the, like, how bright they are inside because they're, they're the group, because who died was the group. Yeah. It wasn't a, a, a few of Alexandra well, they people did died. Bring, oh, that's a good thing. I did a good twist. I didn't think about that because it's not about the people dying. It was the group. And them coming together is what... Symbol made it, you know, their unity better. Yeah. Or so I think that's the, the point, and I, I do agree with you. But I think that's they try they try to betray that, like, like the, the the essential core group was broken, and now Alexandra can rise. Alexandra could not. Alexandra could not rise because it was still the group. Well, and the then, army couldn't. The army or or Alexandra could not be powerful because, or as it is, because it was the group. The yeah. group was there. Maggie was there. Anybody was there. After that, they broke. The group broke. Mm -hmm. Maggie went one way to the hilltop. Well, they had to send Maggie somewhere to save her life. But, uh, but, yeah, but that's the idea. Like they group them. broke the group, but now Alexandria can rise stronger. I think because it, it was only what's the gay guy was there. Oh, Aaron. Aaron was the a few. I think Aaron was the only one that really like joined the group. All, all the rest of Alexandrians were like, yeah. "You don't know. You do not know what's out there. You do not know. Trust me. I know what I do. Yeah. Trust our group. Our group will keep you safe." <clears throat> and then the group fucked up, and they had to be like, "We are not in command. The group is is gone. Now we have to be one." I think that this season would be. It's a good season. Yeah, it was a good season. I mean, a lot of people... I've heard a lot of complaints about the season. People are like, oh, it's boring, blah, blah. I'm like, well, you can't consistently have... If you're going to go into a season that is literally called All Out War, you can't have anything crazy before then. I mean, it had some good parts and had slow parts. I mean, yeah... It had more slow parts than normal. I think, like, for instance, that Tara in uh, whatever episode, whatever, Heath episode, mm -hmm. they could have taken that out. I mean, I understand it was cool for her to go meet the seaside people or whatever, but they could have just taken that fucking episode out. They could have combined it with... But I think they did that because they needed to get weapons. So if they... Or, or they kept the trash people out, so they, the equipment they found in the boat was theirs, or they needed those people to get the guns. What they could have done is done, you know, just like Thrones have done, and what they started to do at the end of the season... Is combining stories in an episode, like but, in, but uh, combining that with Thrones, where Thrones literally kills main characters left and right. Correct, but they have multiple storylines each episode. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, okay. Instead of just having one continuous, I understand like if they have a backstory episode, like Morgan's episode, that is one of the best episodes of Walking Dead. I think that is a really good episode. But the whole Tara and Heath episode could have easily been split up into. Parts of other episodes, like you know, like Rick and Michonne's episode was good, but they could have added some of that in there. So I don't know. With the fake deer, you mean there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what was your favorite scene in this in this episode? In the last episode? Yeah. Last episode, favorite scene of the last episode, favorite scene 
of, of the season. My last, for the last episode, I mean, if I had to choose if definitively my favorite part was when Shiva came in and uh, Ezekiel was like, oh, you know, no one shall fall today like he's talking, like he's a medieval uh-huh. king. I got so they many, did a good job in the CGI with I, Shiva. I got so many cold chills and I got emotional. I mean, I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna cry <laughs> because I love the comic so much." And it, like to see that portrayed in real life is just like, oh. And they picked so fucking good actors, man. Mm-hmm. The actors that portray the parts, the guy who plays Ezekiel is just phenomenal. Yeah, he knows that, but he nails it. Sorry. And then I think if I had to have a runner up. It would have been Neg- Negan's part when he was like, "God damn it, they have a!" And I'm sure with the Blu-ray version, he's going to be like, "They have a fucking tiger." That part, or when he flips him off when he mm-hmm. leaves, because that is so Negan. Like when he's, even though he's like, "Oh fuck, we're getting shot at," he's so cocky and arrogant that he's just going to be like, "That nah, fuck you, I'll get you back." Mm-hmm. And the f- favorite of this on the show, the favorite on the show of the season, the season. This is still the same one. I would probably say my favorite part of the season was it would probably be tied because I really my I love the lineup uh, the first episode I love just when they do the lineup and he just beats the fuck out of him mm-hmm. because that's just one of the best parts of the comic but I also love the Shiva part. the Shiva part because you go through sixteen episodes sixteen weeks basically of wanting your family back together you're like oh man I want them back together I want them reunited and then that happens I don't think it happens I don't think they've reunited I think they're they were allies but I don't think like I think that the core family is destroyed it's gone well, it's, Maggie is going to be the hilltop now well she's always going to stay there because but, not, but now Maggie is not part of the core Mar- 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 Maggie is going to be a good leader and be what the hilltop yeah. needs you know and I think Carol is gonna go back to the kingdom, mm-hmm. so they they all gonna disap- uh, so their family, it's gone. They may, that I think that's the important part of this season and why it's you have to realize that that it's gone. It's growing. I mean, it's just. I like, don't think it's gone. I think I think it's the core survivors are gone, and now there's the hilltop. That this they're their allies, and you know they're. But I don't consider them as a family anymore. I think the family got destroyed by Negan. I think that they're still family because based just from going through, you know, the comic book wise, but is they're still family there because, you know, they Rick goes and visits Maggie. They but all yeah, visit. but, that, but it's like your cousin that lives in the next town. Yeah, so your family, but it's not. Yeah, but it's not the family like it used they, to be. But if if something were to, ha- I mean, like just like Maggie, I mean, she's pregnant, but she's like. I'm going to save them. Because... Yeah, but, but you know what I mean? Like, the first couple of seasons with all the, with the caravan and moving, yeah. that was the family. Oh, yeah. And now and that's then, not going to be... I understand. That's I what, what you're saying now. Okay. Yeah, no, that's done. There's not going to be... My very part in the you know, of the episode, of the last episode, was when... And I, I guess I'll go with my first... My, my favorite part of the season, and then I'll go with five of the episode because they're very attached. The first part of the season is when Negan breaks Rick. When you see him oh, like, not yeah. being able and yes, not being able to control and yes, like losing it that moment and the moment, the same moment, the last episode, but Negan is like, I'm gonna, he, he, Negan thinks he's gonna, he's he broke him again. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna kill you. He's like, I'm not changing my mind. You I'm know. gonna kill you if it's not today, it's tomorrow. You can kill my, you know, you're dead. You're and that moment, that different moment because in that moment, Negan, he's like. He got so pissed, dude. He's like, I'm not sure if he got pissed or he's like, he was expecting to break him. Yeah. And realizing like, no, I'm not going to be able to break him. Well, he met his match. Uh-huh. That's why I can't wait for the buddy-buddy adventures of Negan and Rick. But Spoiler alert. But yeah, but you, you know what I mean? That, that two moments were the same, you know, they were like it, Rick losing it and Rick going back to like, I'm. you can kill my son, but I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, and I think Carl in that instance, a lot of people were asking, you know, oh, you know, I saw him talking dead. They're like, oh, do you think Carl was okay, or he's going to have to have a one-on-one with Carl? They're like, hey, sorry, I was about to make you dead. Because Rick didn't know that no one was going to show up and help them. He had no idea. I think, I think it was more knowing what's going to happen. He can, He was like, yeah, I think if Carl would have been dead, he would have been dead. 
so he just wanted to see his yeah. like I, I'm gonna kill you I will you hit him and the first thing you're gonna do is just gonna go to your jugular and yeah. chew it off but that the different ones is when he, the first time he broke Rick oh yeah he broke Rick the was, family was crying and uh huh yeah and then the second one is I don't know I like the little that evolution that the, the two scenes were similar were really similar both of them he lay down looks him directly in the eyes and the first one he has a you know smacky comments and he can tell that he yeah. broke him and he was like ha 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 but this one he was like like you said mad but I don't think mad I think he was like like shocked like it's the first time somebody is like in that moment fighting like no yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna take your shit that's yeah. over to my, my my two favorites my my favorite is when Rick broke just because both actors did a great job in that scene. Oh, it was yeah. just so powerful. They, they, but my they second, had a great chemistry together. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, it just works so... Loving the first, that, seat, that first episode and loving that part, it was just great. All right. I think now is a good time, right before we end, where we can just discuss who we, you know, are... And I think we should actually make this kind of like a bracket. I think we should make a bracket for next season, and we can periodically go through it through our podcast and see okay this is right now we're just going to throw out some names of who we think but i think as we get closer we should make some form of a bracket and see who is going to win and then we could have a bet you know whoever has the most or the correct deaths i'll say yeah we all pick th- it, you know i say there's going to be three major deaths daryl i'm going to go with a hard one first i'm going to go daryl the leader of the hilltop, whatever his name is, Gregory. Yeah, he's dead. He's gone. I mean, this is your runner-up. I'm not. I think they're gonna Gregory. I know how Gregory does, so I hope that they do it the same because in the comic, it's really fucked up how he does. I think he's gonna die. I he think... can still easily die at this point. So it... yeah, I think Daryl's gonna die, and I'm thinking the in the hilltop, the guy with the big axe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn, I hope that he doesn't die. I really like his character. Those three. I think I put one from the hilltop. Listen to that. Instead of making a bracket because a bracket, you need to have one versus one. Let's do who do you think is going to die from the hilltop? Who do you think is going to die from the kingdom? Oh, gonna, yeah. Shall I go though? Daryl? And this is for all 16 episodes, the whole season. We mm-hmm. have to, it counts for all of it. So, mm-hmm. and then at the end of, you know, this time next year. Yeah. Then my hilltop versus your hilltop. Yeah. And then it goes. Okay. So I think. Oh, man. Hilltop. Hilltop. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on? Where did that happen? Uh, So you got... You you got... I think... Hilltop, I don't think anyone's going to die. Unless it's Enid. I could see them maybe killing Enid off because they killed Beth, and she's basically the same age as Beth. I like Enid more because she's not as annoying, so I hope they don't kill her. So you're going to go with Enid? I do think Enid... You need to pick one. You need to pick one. I'll, I'll go with Enid because there's not really anybody. If anybody dies in that part, they're. It's, it's not, we're yeah. guessing, so it's Enid versus Gregory. Yeah, okay, fine. That's fine. Alexandria. I mm-hmm. got Daryl versus. And it has to be a main character. You know, a character. It can't be like some random na- neighbor from the. Yeah, and we, can't, we can't pick the same people. Mm hmm. I guess because I went first. I guess. Do you want to choose Daryl and I choose somebody else? Mm hmm. I would pick. I, I think Daryl's a good contestant. The only reason why I think that is because Norman Reedus posted a picture today of when Abraham, Sasha, and him were in that. They get stopped by the saviors the first time, and then he blows them up with the bazooka. No. And all three of them are there, and two of them are dead now. I'm like, oh man, I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Oh man, who else is there in the Alexandria? You can go with Rick, Carol, not Rick, Carol. Carol's in Rick. You see, that's my thing, is because. Two of the people that I think are gonna die are at the hilltop. Yep. Not hilltop, but the kingdom. Okay, so you uh, have to pick one. Let me think. It could be the the husband of the gay guy. No. No, you can you can pick. It has to be something impactful. It's definitely not gonna be Aaron. I don't see Aaron dying. The, the I don't want to say Lolita, but it's not Lolita. What's her name? The Hispanic chick. Rosita. Rosita is a good contender. I can only wish. She's oh. a good contender. I, yeah, I'll go with Rosita because they did change it up because Andrea died in season three versus being alive now, and I could see them killing her off because she is really cocky right now and she's really just. I think now I, she got shot too. 
I think Rosita's not gonna. Oh no! Change that. Tara. Tara's gonna fucking get it. Tara's gonna die. She seems like a character that's gonna get it. I was gonna say Rosita. I don't think he's gonna die just because. Her he wanted to die, and it's, it's just a cliche. I just does. want to... Re- Alright, so it's Daryl versus Terra. Yep. And then... Dun, 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 dun. My Hilltop, Hilltop picks, I, I I have two. I mean, they're picked. I mean, I think Morgan and Carol are going to die. I was going to say Morgan. I think Morgan and Carol. But we have to pick one. If I'm going to have to pick the latter of the two, I'm going to pick Morgan. Morgan versus the guy with the big axe. Yeah. Uh, do you think the guy? You just, do you step the guy with the big ass as a yeah. character? He's going to fucking get killed, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks because I really like Jerry, man. He's so funny. Uh-huh. He's like deuces. I'm like, yes, we finally have someone that's happy in this fucking <laughs> show. And I, I do think though, I think Carol and Morgan will get it because you know what, I, I just. I can see Carol more over Morgan. I, can, I like Morgan's progression. Lenny James is just, he doesn't live here. He does a lot of theater and stuff in London. So I think that, like, eventually, I mean, unless I pay him enough, he would... I did pay him enough. But oh well. There we go. He's a really... Yeah. Well, there we go. So we got... That's a good bracket right there. A good synopsis. We'll get this all jaunted down, and then we'll uh, make an infogram, and then put it on uh, our Facebook page and Twitter. So you guys can keep track of where we're at. We'll probably throw in more names in there. We'll get a list of names for each town. Tara? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't know, man. It'd be crazy if they changed it up. But All right. Yeah, so my, that's it. My question for you for this episode, and you can throw me a question in the next episode. I went through your Walking Dead. It's... What would happen... How do you think the world would work if they actually find a cure? So what what so it, it, there's gonna be a cure, so it could have been, it's gonna be a cure. You call it the you know the most of the zombies pass away. So now after that, like the you know they're they're good, strong oh, survive. What do you think they will? What do you think there will be new cities growing up and going back to normal? Do you think it's gonna? I think that it would be the same conflict now where you have one person that's over everyone else like Negan. And he find if there is a cure, he takes the cure. And he, the only way to get it is, you know, if he feels like you're worthy of it. And then wars come up, people get it, and they pass it out. And I think then, but I, I still feel like it would just, after going through what they've gone through. In a, in but a I, 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 I'm not saying it has to be in the next five years. It could be in... Yeah. Like, I mean, imagine, like, in 40 years, most of the zombies that are, like, most of the human po- population that were zombies now, they, they, they decompose. Mm-hmm. They're, no, they're no longer there. And it doesn't have to be, like, a menace. And it could be, well, most of the zombies are dead. Now we know, every time somebody dies, we poke them in the head. Mm-hmm. We know what's going on. It's easier. And we just live with it. That's, do you think that we can, that we, civilization will ever re- recoup, uh, recoup, even though it's having all that technology still available? Like, it's not. I think it would recoup because. Uh, quickly, just because you know what to do, you know. Well, you have people like Eugene that know how to manufacture stuff. That's 40 like, years from now. Eugene is that. Well, there would still probably be people that have taught the children how to do things, just like Carl's learning. He, he eventually learns how to be a blacksmith. Yeah, blacksmith is medieval techniques. Correct, but you could. You, they, there's other people there, you know, a doctor, they have modern technology, they could... So you, you think know, it would be recoup? I don't think it would recoup, recoup all the way, but I think that they would be able to refine... You're not going to open up an automotive manufacturing plant for at least another hundred years unless you have people that know how to run that shit. Mm-hmm. But I think you'd be able to have someone that knows how to make gunpowder, someone know, knows how to make gasoline, mm-hmm. someone... The things you need, someone knows how to produce electricity, which in their time, there's plenty of fucking generators out there. So all they need is gasoline if they know someone who knows how to get oil and how to refine gasoline, they could do it. I, I agree with you. I, I don't I, think that I, they're going to get anything crazy. Like, they're not going to be popping out fucking hybrids, but... Yeah, I, I agree with you completely. I think that's the thing. And that, that gets me to the point that one new religions or religions or... You know, ther- uh, theories, uh, ceremonies, like, oh, when somebody dies, the loved one of the one comes in and pokes him in the head. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to be the, like, anybody's, you know, he's died, and maybe they, you know, they change the guy if he becomes, or if it's not, you walk in and you just... I think that they would go eventually... Because as, eventually as... it will become a, a, a routine. Somebody dies, you stab him in the head, in the heart, in the yeah. head, and you go away. I think it would be 
that religious wise they would also become more paganistic again mm -hmm. because I think as time progressed we all became more in a sing singlistic I don't know if that's a word but a single deity yeah and I think that or yeah at the same time or it could be like you know the people like the whispers take over and that's what happens yeah. so I mean it's 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 fun to think about like if, or if, the, if there was a cure, like oh, there's a cure, and everybody cures themselves, and everything is fine, and how do you recoup from all the people that died, all that? You know, it's just such an interesting. Yeah. And my last question for you, that maybe you know, if a woman has a baby and the baby dies, does that baby in the in his so she doesn't she's pregnant and the baby the fetus in this sense dies that the fetus become a, a zombie. Everyone has the the disease, so yeah, I would assume that the fetus would. It would depend because if the fetus was small enough, obviously, eight months. Oh, so if it was eight like months, an actual and, baby, like alien, I think it would be like alien. It'd be eating its way out, like wow. Then I mean, it would eventually die, but it's the way you dead. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it would be able to grow. Well, yeah, we'll stay the same set. I, I compose. I definitely this. think it would become like alien, though. Like, oh, it's going to come out. But at that, at that <laughs> point, if the feet, if the feet, like, <laughs> I wish they did that. Yeah. Like, that would be, that's just, like, oh, I don't feel good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or you can see the, yeah, the, the, like the little. All right. Well, I think that's it. You can follow us at uh, twoordynerds at gmail.com, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, you know, whatever you can, you know. Red email. tube. Pornhub, yeah, whatever. Mail us at you know, it's the what's the White House address? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it, the White House uh, address yeah. is Solarium. Yeah, put, yeah, put the White House. It, it's Solarium Tanning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. We will see you guys next week.